Now, our Labour right to act their green promise, 0207 862 Do give us a call. They've confirmed they are ditching their pledge to spend £28 billion a year on environmental projects if they win the election. It is a really, really big U-turn for the party. Do you think it's a mistake? Labour leader Keir Starmer says the £28 billion target couldn't be met due to the damage the Conservatives had done to the economy. So Labour saying they might get around to spending about £5 billion a year instead, if they can. Climate campaigners have attacked the watering down of the party's green plan. And you can see the pa among the papers, this is, this is the mail, it's quite, it, you can see this is going to be the election, isn't it? Can you believe a word Sir U-Turn says? Is that fair, James, to call him Sir U-Turn? Well, one of the things he's dealing with is a bunch of heroic commitments by Corbyn that he's having to row back on. You know, Corbyn said that he was going to take the whole of the private sector out of the NHS. That ain't going to work. So he gets blamed for U-turning on something like that. So I think it's, I think that's a real practical problem for him. But he does sometimes come across as quite soft and uncommitted. So that's where I think the emotional resonance comes from. Mm. What you mean? So you you think he's a bit sort of flabby on the well? The no, policies? I don't think I don't think we can now raise Corbyn every time you know anything goes wrong. These were his pledges. Many of them were Starmer's pledges. Mm -hmm. I don't need to say anything <laughs> because on Newsnight, um, John uh, McTurnan, McTurnan, who was yeah. um, uh, an advisor to Tony Blair, said it all. It's probably the most stupid decision the Labour Party have made. And then he goes on to say, great parties have great causes. What is Keir Starmer's great cause, except mm. Keir Starmer wants to be prime minister? Well, I suppose if you're if you're Labour, you say he's got to he's got to undo the the bad things, and it, you know this is your party, James, right? No get away. But we could start by taking all the poo out the rivers and the sea. I yeah. mean, it's stuff yeah. like yeah. literally yeah. cleaning the country's nappy is well, a start. But he's so terrified of a bad press, and he's yeah. But, but um, what I'm saying is he's got some really top know, line items. But he won't do it. He won't do that either. I, What's I don't do? believe he'll go do anything. Really? For the first time. You know, you, you, you I don't believe it. Labour. Because I am a support. I want them to win. But I don't want Tory light. But what if he says, look, we've had a look, and there's, 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 there's not even there's no money. All the tax we bring in is going to be spent paying off. I understand debts. that. Liz Truss cost oh, it, the well, whole nation. It wasn't just her, but yeah. But it was. I but mean, I think on these green, James. I think on these green commitments, I think there is a mood in the country that spending money isn't the only way of trying to fight climate change. That if ideas don't wash their face financially, we've got to ask ourselves whether they are a good idea. There must be a cost-effective way of tackling climate but change. But I'm starting to think in life, maybe you sometimes do need to front-load spending. And an example is home insulation. Yes, I, I, so, I, I, I think home insulation, money's got to be spent on that. But if the insulation doesn't pay back at all for homes, Ever, mm. then maybe we're doing it in, a, in the wrong way. But and it more should do, but you've still to got to given. spend it up front, haven't you? That's, but I also, can't we start this country being a different kind of country that does green things? And the thing is, he also announced this on the day we had 1.25 rise in um, global temperatures. 1.5. 1.5. Yeah. yeah. And he does yeah. it on that day. Yeah, well, that's... So we go, there's another thing going on here, which I should mention, which is that we, there was this really kind of quite nasty spat in the House of Commons where the, the Sunak accused Starmer of flip-flopping on everything. He actually brought in transgender rights, and it was unfortunate it was because the mother yeah. of Brianna Jai, the murdered teenager, transgender teenager, was in the gallery. OK. So, so let me just but, say... But, yeah. Any time, Starmer over Sunak, but... Yeah, but, uh, well, OK, yes, I, I hear you. <laughs> That's true. But what's interesting is this whole issue has all somehow got conflated. So we, let's just have a look at what Sunak is saying now. I have nothing but the most heartfelt sympathy for her entire family and, and friends. You know, but to use that tragedy to detract from the very separate and clear point I was making about Keir Starmer's proven track record of multiple U-turns on major policies because he doesn't have a plan, I think is both sad and wrong. So Sunak is starting to dust himself down after that round. Yeah. He's not apologising and he's, he, in a strange way, he can use that U-turn yeah. thing to his advantage. Well, that's what he's... He thinks that the U-turn thing hurts Labour, hurts mm. Starmer. That's why Starmer went so hard on uh, whether it was an ill-thought-through comment and now actually is amplifying 
Sunak's original point, which is the U-turn point. Yeah, yeah, and it, so it's 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 a real hot week of party politics, that's for sure. Alistair's in Lincolnshire. Hi. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, panel. Are they making a mistake, Alistair? You sound a bit miserable about it. No, <laughs> I've not had much sleep, actually, Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, what it is for me is that, um, you know, I think uh, Starmer made the point that, you know, the economy has changed since the original... Um, um, claim, you know, that the original uh, point was made two years ago. Well, not really, and because we had COVID before they did the policy and COVID wiped us out anyway, so... And then there was Liz Truss, of course. Well, yeah, one. yeah. So, I mean, the, my point Let's... is that why, you know, of course, um, U-turns are always criticised by the mainstream media, possibly on both parties, but Labour seems to get the worst of it mm. because... You know they get they get roasted the most. Well, yeah, you're right. And if we went and did a list of, of Sunak U-turns, oh my goodness, we'd have a few of them. Thank you, Alistair Douglas in Edinburgh. Hi. I think uh, it's quite right that Labour can't if they can't financially afford this, uh, that they've got to abandon it because the country's in such a mess that the Conservatives have put us in. The um, the 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 European financial bosses have told. The, the, our governor, that they cannot uh, afford the tax cuts that these people are trying to put in, which is only an election promise to, to buy votes again. It's, a, it's an old Tory tactic, well-worn, and it's being proved that they cannot afford to do it, and they've been warned off it, and they've actually had to drop that idea. And the, the there was never any, there was never any money. We were running a £2 trillion debt. They made the promise with the background of the £2 trillion debt, so they're either going to add to the debt or they're going to tax us more, and now they drop the promise. And oh. and they drop the promise because why, Douglas, why? Because they can't afford it. Well, they couldn't they before. They can't afford it because you've got a prime minister that's sitting there lying all the time trying to tell us that everything's going well. Mm. Is, that, is that fair, do you think, James, on, on Rishi Sunak? Uh, listen, he's got a hell of a tough job. I don't think he's an inveterate liar who's trying to mislead us about whether things are going well. He's trying to turn the boat around. I find him very plausible and he's doing his best for the country. I think mm. people do recognise that. No, no, certainly not. He's not popular. And Douglas is right. Douglas is right that, you know, it's the Tory mess. But at the same time, uh, Labour has backtracked on bankers' uh, caps on bankers' yeah, bonuses. Yeah, that's another one. They, they backtracked on, uh, you know, the, how much the rich can pay. Well, what about I mean, the thing where they dumped on the mayor of London because of the ULES pollution yeah, controls and because of the Uxbridge by-election? Comes when they, you know, a time somebody's got to influence Starmer. He's coming across as a kind of duplicitous man, and he's not. No, but isn't, isn't what he's doing, he's just trying to win this election and then he can do whatever he wants. Because no, the, the new thing is now you only announce policies no, after elections. No, that's what happened with Blair, right? And then eventually we realised that there was a lot. The third time Blair won, he shouldn't have won. It took you ten years to realise he was a Conservative? No, no, I knew then, yeah. but I'm saying <laughs> I'm say. about his supporters right. not realising what they were voting mm. for. It's interesting. OK, well, we are in an election year, there's no doubt. Well, I guess they could they could push it to January next year, you know? No, I but like, they? No, they could, they could technically, yeah, but I think mm. it's more likely it's going to be November. Elias is in High Wycombe. What do you think? Does this say something bad about Labour, Elias? So, um, yeah, I don't know why everyone's given Keir Starmer such a hard time. The economy of Britain has changed so much, the interest rates and, 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 and just in, in, in general. So, obviously, the, um, there's a lot of things what they, what they would like to do, but they wouldn't be able to afford it. I so, mean, why, why would we then way, change governments if they can't do anything different? What do you... To go in a different direction? I mean, but, I, what? I, I find that a silly thing to say, really. But what's, what is the direction? Because I'm, I'm struggling to work out what their policies are at the moment. I mean, Yasmin says well, they've reversed all of them. If Britain, is, if, if Britain is in a deeper hole day by day, yes. OK, things, what you, things which you would like to do, you can't do straight away. So you've got to actually bring the country back up a bit. Yeah, but what, I, I'm trying, I, I, honestly, yeah. I just need to know what, if, if Labour get in, what's day one look like? You don't know, do you? I don't know. And also, Elias, if we are in such a bad way, why has Starmer decided that it, they're not going to do anything with the bankers, uh, capping the bankers' bonuses? We need the money. We need the money. And they're not going to tax the rich any more than 
they, you know, the, the, the wonderful life they've had for 13 years, that continues. Tell me, if we're in such a bad way, why are they not doing more to get more taxes, including out of people like me? I'm not, a, I'm not rich, but I'm happy to pay more. Okay, you're asking questions, which is, I mean, everyone who's paying so much tax now is becoming a joke, okay? Or, okay, what Labour's going to do, who knows what they're going to do when they get in, but they can't promise the world when they know the finance is all upside down. Right. Well, maybe you know, they should just say they're not going to contest the next election, because it's not. it sounds like you're saying it's not possible to run the country anymore. No, I didn't say that. I mean, you, you, you've got an NHS notes need sorting out. You've got right. all these people who want to go on strike need sorting out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, well, you I, kind, I, yeah, you kind I, of... You, I don't know. I mean, in the end, the strikes, maybe you have to pay them more. I don't, and that's more money. I don't... I, I, I'm, thank you, Elias, very much. Honestly, we're just trying to work out what the policies are because we can't have an election if there's no policies. Sanjeev's in Leicester. Hi, Sanjeev. We're being unfair on Labour here. Have they got some policies? I think he's not there. His phone has uh, gone. I wish with Elias, though. You have to have priorities, and if settling the doctor's strike and sorting out the NHS is your number one priority, maybe there's not enough money to well, be able to make these green commitments as well. The doctors want 35%, so there, there's your budget budget right there. Sanjeev in Leicester, hi. Hi, hi, Jeremy. How Apologies, are you? we, we caught, you, uh, caught you early there. What do you want to say? Well, I, I think uh, he's been uh, honest with the electorate, because uh, if he says something now to the electorate and says, look, I'm going to do this, and then... We find out after the election he's not going to do it. He's 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 he's, he's, he's lied, isn't he? Basically, I think he's being honest and upfront. And the economy's not got that sort of money to. We can't go out and spend that sort of money because we're in the mess. Right. So they're so, going to uh, spend the same money differently, you think? And and therefore, oh, that okay, that's fine. But on what? T tell me what the policy is, because we're really struggling here. Well, the, the well, the, the policy was that he was going to spend this twenty-eight billion pound on on all these green green jobs and investments yeah. he was going to put into the economy. But um, I think he's realised now that we just don't have that sort of money and uh, we, we we can't do it. But I'm I, I frustrated because I just want you to tell me what the policy back. is. What is Labour? Give me one policy that Labour's going to have at the general election. Because honestly, I'd love to know. Well, I think I think the, the one policy I, I heard on Question Time last night was that Wes Streeting was on there, and he actually said that they were going to invest quite a lot of money into the NHS and social care, okay. which I think is, well, is, fair, is, fair is overdue. Really. Well, but actually, yeah, Sanjeev, that, he's fair, also fair said, Wes, Wes Streeting has also said that he's going to carry on uh, with the private sector providing a lot of the services, mm. which is exactly what the Tories have been doing. Well, that's what James is, is yeah, behind. But, but he yeah. likes that. So, but, the, but the NHS so, totally relies on the private sector. They're the ones who provide the yeah, drugs. No, Most that's of the GPs not true. Uh, actually, are in the private no. sector, the vaccine. Uh, that was a uh, choice that the Tories made and the Labour wants well, to continue. That's completely unrealistic. Uh, Blair made it. Yes, Blair made No, it started... Actually, it went big under the Tories, let's face it. And now, San, uh, what's his... Sanjeev... Uh, the Shadow Health Secretary says we'll have the same. Everywhere you look, they're going to do the same. I'm not clear whether they are increasing the money into the NHS, actually, as well. That's the crucial thing. Or whether they're going to do different things with the same money. Yes, I think that's right. They haven't made a big spending commitment. No. But no. the implication is that they're going to invest in the capital budget and uh, increase the total amount of money. All right, we, sh we shouldn't need to do a kind of investigative journalism here to find out what Labour's policies are. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Joy in Herefordshire, do you know? Hello. Um, I just believe that this green policy should be done no matter what. Yes. Well, the Somehow world is on fire. That's, that's true. We, there's no doubt that climate change is real and, and yes. we've got to do something. The only argument against it is we're only 1% of it. So if yes. we don't do yeah, anything, it doesn't make much difference. Well, you can look at it like that, can't you? Yeah. But on the other hand, we're, we're seeing all this weather... We're seeing, we are seeing climate change, and they've known about it for 40 years, and yet what is really being done? Well, the other... Uh, I'm sorry to sort of push back on it, but, of course, if Trump gets in, he's going to cancel all of America's stuff anyway and so, fire yeah. up the coal power. Yeah, yeah, but we're, so, we're so not mad. an American colony. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. OK, but it's just that, the, the Joy, you know... Well, Joy and you agree, actually. Absolutely, why, why cancel? Joy. Well done for you saying that. Do you agree that. with this, James? Just, <laughs> don't, just don't cancel it, cos it's green and it's important. I think that... Um, it is incredibly important. I want to leave the planet in a better shape for my kids. But some of the ideas that cost so much money, I think, are ill thought through. 
And there are ways of reducing carbon emissions that don't cost tens of billions mm. of pounds. Yeah, OK. Thank you, Joy, very much. Stephen London, hi. Good morning, Jeremy. Are we being unfair to Labour here, saying we can't, we don't know what the policies are? Uh, no, I don't think you've been unfair. I think you've been very fair. I, I, my, my concern is this issue has been raised months and months and months ago, and they said... You know, how they, we asked how they were going to afford to pay for it many times on interviews, and they kept saying on kind of about they're going to, tax, they're going to deal with the non-don status, they're going to deal with pri taxing private schools, windfall taxes, tax the rich. So they, they had it all planned out how they were going to do it, and now they've just changed their mind. I, 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 you know, you raise it. I tell you what, you, you'll think taxing private schools or, or putting VAT on fees... I will be yeah, really yeah. interested to see whether they drop that one as well. I, I, I bet you they well, will. I, I wonder if they're going to drop it. The Blair tried that and he dropped it within a minute. No, so, I think that one's definitely... I think that one's coming. It's I think coming. That, that is yeah. part of the culture wars. It's totemic. It also uh, is affordable. I don't think a lot of schools will close. Um, taking charity status away from schools, that would be the one that would really hit them. Yeah. So that's a, it's a middle uh, route. Mm. I don't like it. I think it's... I think I don't like that kind of class warfare, but I think I bet that you that they go through. It's that. interesting. We should see which policy goes next. Chris in Manchester, what do you want to say, Chris? I know you, you follow Labour closely. Um, <laughs> I don't know quite where you get that from, Jerry. Well, because every um, time you ring up, you've got quite interesting comments on them. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't support Labour or the Tories. I think I'm politically homeless. I'm yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Well, 28 billion, let me say, I applaud Labour for actually saying what they've said, at least before they get into power. I think that shows, that's a big tick for me. But um, you told me off once, Jeremy, for going off debit. Um, can I just throw this one in? If we build more housing, so whether it's Labour, Tory, I don't care. If we build the housing we need, one and a half million homes at 250,000 average, that's gross revenue of 375 billion quid. Of which the tax take is 150 billion. Yeah. Can't somebody just implement that? Brilliant, Chris. Thank you. Another another good idea. It takes a while, and you get all the private house builders make an absolute wedge on it.